We're going to take you now through the BC Care Providers Association member portal, which has recently just been launched. <clears throat> you can get access to the BC Care member portal by going to members.bccare.ca or through the member login link on the BC Care website. When you get to this page, you'll notice you have the option of putting in your email address and the password. The password would have been sent to you in an email from BC Care when they launched the new member portal. As you can see here, this email came to me. My email address is the username, and here is my password. Getting access to the member portal, simply you click on the field and you type in your email address and your password. If at any time you forget your password, you can click on Forgot Password to get through the Forgot Password process. You simply will be putting in your email address into this field and you'll receive an email to start that Forgot Password process. Upon logging into the member portal, you'll receive a dashboard where you can find a number of BC Care provider uh, sections for you. You'll notice here on the dashboard there's a welcome message. Uh, you'll have some badges which will highlight key items that are coming up for BC Care. There's a quick link to the latest event through BC Care as well as a listing of other events that are upcoming. Quick access to the job bank is also available on this page. One of the first items that you should take care of when you log into the member portal for the first time is to change your password. To do that, you go under your account and go to My Password. Under here, you can simply put in your current password and then you can change it to be whatever you wish it to be. Upon completion of the update of the password, you'll notice a little window down here, a little pop-up that says your password has been changed. You can always return to the dashboard by clicking Dashboard up at the top left-hand corner. The different sections of the BC Care uh, portal include the events area, where you can see a complete listing of all the events taking place in either calendar view or by simply clicking list view to get a complete listing of all the events that are taking place. You can also search the events using keyword filters, dates, as well as workspaces and statuses of the events. You can also see a complete listing of all the events that you have signed up for as well by going to My Event Registrations. The organization directory includes everybody who has a service provider, commercial, or associate membership. Each one of the uh, profiles is available in the member directory and as you can see, each one of the corporations or organizations does have a logo that's included with their profile. You can sort the different organizations by service provider commercial or associate by clicking on the member type and then you can also uh, filter organizations by health authority or type of care for example under service provider. Under commercial you can see that you can uh, they are classified and you can select from a list of classifications and for associates it is simply a listing of associates. Each one of the members when clicked on you can get access to a further information about the member. We'll go into a little more detail on how to add more information to the pop-up area as well as how to get more information appearing in your profile. There's a job bank that's available to all BC Care Provider uh, members. You can simply go to the job bank and you can find a listing of all the jobs that are currently available. If you wish, you can also submit and post a job to the job bank. Click on Post and Manage Jobs and in here you can click on Post Job which will take you through the job posting process. Every job is reviewed by BC Care and will be published to the website upon approval. The member benefits area allows members to see all the different benefits that are available to them. Currently you can see that there is special BCCPA member pricing. 
When you click on the actual member benefit, you can get further information about the benefit itself. If you have benefits that you wish to publish, please let the BC Care Member Association know. Under education, there is a, vo a video library that eventually will be hosting many different videos from BC Care. As it stands right now, there are a couple videos for you to review. You can watch a video by clicking on it and it will open up into the window for you to start to watch. My account is where all of your information is stored. Starting with my profile, you can come in here and keep your profile completely up to date. As you can see, I can change my email address, my job title, add a department, update my gender, add a photograph, and a biography about myself. This information is used in the organization directory as well as by BC Care administrators when doing email lists and invites to events. You can update your address information and specify which is your preferred email or contact address as well and simply you can fill out all of the information about yourself. Business, residential, and social media wise. You can also update your primary organization information. So this is the information that will show for your organization, not just for you. So for example, you could have different contact info and in your business information than your organization itself has. So in here, you can update your primary organization info, social media information, as well as the logo for your organization. You can also get access to it, update your password in here. And finally, the service provider profile membership, which I have, I can come in here and I can update all of the information about my service provider membership so that I can be found in the member directory using the filters. Clicking on the item and filling in some information in here is how you would do that, and then clicking the Save button underneath. There are, there are items that are drop down so you can select from it. Ensure that you click on the little Save button and get the response has been updated alert box in the bottom right hand corner. Keep your member profile as up to date as possible to ensure that you appear correctly in the member directory. The member directory listing is another area which you'll be, uh, which is highly recommended that you look at. You will notice here this is the primary card that I will see when in my listing in the member directory, and then when clicked upon, this is the window that pops up. And you can see that when I chose the health authority for Vancouver Island, that now it has been added to my profile. I can also edit my directory listing directly from this page and I can specify which information I want to show in the member portal directory. For example, I can turn off my address, city, postal code, phone numbers if I don't want people to be able to contact me through the directory. And I can also update the property details that will appear in the membership directory. At any time, I can also go in and find out about my membership. Under my account, I can be shown how long I've been a member, what my status is, and when my actual renewal date will be. Certificates can be provided by VC Care for events and for membership. They would also appear in the My Certificates area. And all invoices and receipts for my membership purchase, event purchase, job bank purchase, and any other purchase that I do through the BC Care Provider Association member portal will be displayed here for me to download at any time. Going forward, every single receipt will be here, so if you ever misplace a receipt, delete the email that the receipt notification was in, you can always come here and get that receipt. Up in the top right hand corner, if you have questions for BC Care or the in regards to the member portal or anything else, you can click on inquiries and you can actually submit an inquiry through the member portal. There are a number of categories that have been set up for you to use. 
technical issue, membership events and complaints. If you have an issue with your membership, for example, you can type in a message that says, when is my renewal date? This inquiry will be submitted to a BC care provider administrator who will respond to the inquiry upon receipt. To leave the member portal, simply go up to your name up in the top right hand corner and click on the log out button. That was a tour of the BC Care Providers Association. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact BC Care for further assistance.